Assalamu alaikum. Today our group in project management will interview a great construction manager who has been successful in their career and job. We interview engineer Rohit from Pakistan and he works in Qasim University. The group member are Tariq al Ibrahim I hope this interview will benefit all students in engineering to become more successful in career and guide in career planning for the future. And the first question is, what is a project? What's the meaning of management? What's the meaning of project management? Yes, you have asked me about the management, the project, the project management. Uh, first of all, I would like to explain to you about the management, the word management. Uh, the word management is, according to my view, I think, is uh, uh, work done uh, through others uh, effectively and efficiently. Effectively means without, uh, within the limits of the project, within the scope of the project, and efficiently means without uh, ruining our resources, without uh, extra usage of resources. So this is the main purpose of uh, management. The person who can have this ability, the good manager, by taking work from others effectively and efficiently. Now you have asked me secondly about the project. Uh, the word project means, uh, the project is basically a, a small task. This may be a small, this may be a large task. The task which is being undertaken by two parties. Basically this is an agreement between two parties who has uh, its start and who has its end. And uh, uh, it should be completed within time within uh, cost and within uh, specifications. These are the three basically constraints of the project that we have to complete this project, this task within these three constraints. And thirdly, you asked me about the project management. Uh, the, the word project management means, uh, this is basically a discipline, this is basically a science of uh, managing, organizing and uh, controlling our resources in such a way to bring about the successful completion of that task which we are going to undertake. So this is a uh, basically a basic definition of the project that we have to complete our task by a you know organized way by a, a methodology. So this is basically the definition of the project management. Uh, what is the difference between construction manager and project manager? To understand the difference between the construction manager and project manager, I think uh, the project manager is the person who is basically leading the project, who is the key person of the project, who is basically handling all the activities which are coming under the project. Like uh, in project, in a single project, we have so many activities which are coming, uh, like um, uh, civil activities, like mechanical activities, the electrical activities, the architectural activities, and uh, site execution as well for all these activities. So we have so many things and uh, we also have procurements of materials, we have to follow the standards, we have to follow the specifications, each and everything. So the construct, uh, the project manager is the person who is basically leading the whole project and all the, leading all these activities, who is basically responsible for all these activities. And secondly, you have asked me about the uh, construction manager. The manager is basically uh, dealing with the activities which are happening at site. He, he, this not uh, this is uh, not mean that uh, he is uh, only responsible for the activities which are being executed at site. He is uh, also responsible for uh, the design work as well, the shop drawings, uh, the requirements of the engineers at site who, is working, who are working at site, uh, the specifications, the standards. So he is a person who is uh, following the site activities and the, maybe he is uh, involved in uh, the uh, procurements of the materials as well. So he is directly dealing with the site activities which are coming under civil. So uh, there are so many uh, persons who are working under him uh, like uh, the uh, site engineers, uh, like uh, some designers as well maybe who are working with him. Uh, some uh, executors like uh, uh, supervisors, uh, laborers, skilled laborers, unskilled laborers. So he is also the uh, the person, uh, the, the responsible person for uh, the persons uh, and 
and their jobs allocation that side. So how will you become construction manager? Uh, the word uh, construction manager, manager. The construction manager is a responsibility to handle the whole uh, construction uh, activities of the project. Means he is responsible uh, for the execution of the project. He is responsible uh, for the you know. Uh, all the engineers, site engineers, he is responsible for the design, he is responsible for uh, which is being executed at site, he is responsible for the specifications, he is responsible for the quantities, he is responsible uh, for all the uh, you know information which is being issued to him at site. So this is the major duty of the uh, construction manager and with this he is also responsible for uh, the schedules, he also uh, responsible for uh, the finalization of uh, design. If there is some change in design, if there are some, some shop drawings are uh, needed according to the site conditions, he is responsible to uh, make sure these drawings are uh, accurately available to the every person at site. And also, he is also responsible for uh, the the construction staff. Maybe. Uh, uh, they, they may be the engineers, they may be the labor, they may be the supervisors. He is also responsible for their job allocations. He is the person who directly allocate their, their jobs and their, their issues, the side issues are being handled by the construction manager. So the construction manager is the person who directly handles this, uh, the construction activities at site. So uh, secondly, uh, the project manager is the person who basically uh, handles the whole project. Whole project includes um, electrical works, mechanical works, the construction works, civil works, the architectural works, uh, materials, procurements. Uh, there are so many things which are coming in a, in a single project. So the project manager is the person who is directly handling all these things. He is uh, involved in all these things. Issues, uh, but the construction manager is only the person who is involved in the construction activities who are laying at site. So, uh, the, for the construction, uh, for the project manager, uh, is the person who is uh, dealing with the whole project, and the construction man uh, manager who is dealing only the construction activities who are related with. Yeah. How do you communicate and manage with your stakeholders and your staff? So first of all, I would like to explain you about the staff which are coming under the construction manager. Maybe uh, there may be some designers, there may be some engineers who are working with him. There may be some purchase uh, persons. There are some engineers, site engineers, supervisors, the skilled laborers and unskilled laborers. And he is also the responsible person who is dealing with the uh, suppliers as well. Maybe sometimes he has some jobs to finalize the materials and uh, to procure these materials. So I think, according to my view, uh, there are two ways uh, to handle, to manage the things. The first thing is to manage and to deal with the persons uh, to their merit by, uh, you know, taking your hard attitude and you should punish the persons that everybody, everybody should uh, fear of your authority and who's responsible uh, for his own work. So uh, th this is the way uh, which is being followed by some persons, uh, by some managers who you know, uh, who are very strict to their actions. Uh, if they have given some task to any, any engineer, to any uh, subordinate, so he has some fear of doing this. If he is not doing this for, uh, for the construction manager, he will be punished by some, uh, you know, uh, something. So this is the first way. And the second way is to uh, Take your work from others effectively and efficiently by, you know, giving privileges, by giving a soft attitude to, towards their stakeholders, the persons who are directly related with you and who are directly uh, dealing with you and who are working with you uh, and with your project. So I think, according to my view, this is the best way to uh, deal with the persons to their merit by. Uh, taking a soft attitude by giving them privileges, by uh, removing their pro problems, by communicate uh, with every person uh, continuously. There should not be a, a communication gap. There should be, uh, you know, a very uh, soft and uh, very 
progressive attitude of the uh, construction manager towards all the persons who are uh, working with him like uh, they, they may be the staff who's working under him and they may be the outside persons who are uh, like uh, suppliers and uh, subcontractors and some other persons. So I think this, uh, there are the two ways to um, communicate with the stakeholders. What are the certifications required for construction management? Yes, uh, regarding the uh, certifications uh, and qualifications are required for the construction manager and project manager. Uh, for construction manager, we have uh, different certifications. We have uh, um, uh, masters, which are being uh, being studied in some universities, some uh, very good universities, uh, same, same as in Pakistan, and some international universities. Maybe this may be uh, studied in uh, Saudi Arabia as well. The masters in construction management. This is the most famous thing, degree uh, which is being uh, you know studied by the civil engineers. After completing their um, bachelor's, they can uh, have admission in this degree. And uh, same is the case with the project managers. There are some ma master's degrees uh, which are being taught in some uh, universities uh, uh, for the project managers. And for project management, there there is a most uh, famous uh, certifications which is uh, you know uh, are becoming the need of uh, the professional uh, companies in the market. Uh, this need as uh, the PMP, the Project Manager Pro uh, Management Professional. This is the uh, institute uh, from America, uh, the name as uh, PMI. The PMI means uh, Project Management Institute of America. So this is the most uh, famous uh, certification uh, for the project managers and uh, right now, nowadays, uh, all the persons uh, who are willing to become a project manager they are uh, quite, uh, you know, willing to do these kind of uh, certifications. This is an online certification exam, and uh, everybody can have some uh, uh, information and come, can get some uh, uh, courses who are uh, available, which are available at the internet, and you can uh, get preparation from these uh, things for getting the certification. What do you advise to us in the beginning of the work? Uh, in the beginning of the project, if you start the project, uh, you must have uh, uh, information of, uh, and I, th I think you should be clear about some major and important things, according to my view. I think uh, you should be uh, clear about the plan, the idea of the project, that you should be clear in your uh, mind that what you are going to do for the project what is the scope of your project and what is the goal of the project what are the limitations of the project and what are the boundaries of the project and when you know about this and then you should go into the detail of the project like you should uh, have an information about the technical information I can say uh, of the project you must have uh, the design data of the project you must have uh, uh, you know specifications of the project and you should uh, have a good and cooperative team and uh, you know a learned team uh, experienced team who are very much capable of doing these tasks you should first of all study whole project you should study the positive and negative aspects of the project you should uh, prepare your you know uh, feasibility in the beginning of the uh, in the start of the project and you should be clear uh, with your mind that you are going to do this and this is the cost and this is the design and this is the specification and uh, these are the persons who are responsible for these 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 jobs everybody should be uh, assigned a, a specific job and he is the person who should be capable of doing this job and you must have the most important thing you must have a schedule timelines of the of the project that you should nowadays the primary of e6 is being uh, very much in in the market you should have a schedule of all the activities all the responsible persons for uh, doing the project according within time within cost and within specifications these are the most important things being a good uh, construction manager I think the most important thing is to complete the project with cost taking your profit with the marginal uh, value and the, uh, to complete the project within time 
you will be able to get your profit only the way when you complete your project within time. For this, you have all these things which I have explained to you that you should be clear what you are going to do. You should have a complete data of your project. You should have a complete information of your project. And you should have a cooperative team and a responsible team. And the team should be divided into small teams and everybody should be given a task and he should be responsible for their own task. So I think in the beginning of the project you should have to decide these things. These are the most important things.